I don't want you to focus too much on question type actually, because I think students overemphasize it when in reality, focusing on the stimulus is just as important, if not more important. If you don't understand the argument, you're not gonna be able to solve the question. And too often students look at the stimulus, they, they're like, I don't really get it. Let me look at the choices and see if that helps. But the choices will not help because the choices only make sense in the context of the stimulus. You gotta know the proper perspective from which to view the stimulus, which is why I like to do question stem first. I like to read question stem, then read the stimulus, then the choices. If you like to read the other way, totally fine. But I still think it's useful either way to at least have an idea of what is that method of reasoning in the stimulus at some point. So I would say on test day, I read the stem. So I know, is it likely to be a fact set? Like it would be often for an inference question. Or if it's a flaw question, I know I'm viewing the stimulus from the perspective of the fact that something is gravely wrong. There's a huge error or oversight on their part. I'm going in looking for gaps, looking for holes to identify them and articulate them. If it's strengthened or weakened, I know it's informal logic. There's going to be a gap of some kind. There's going to be an argument, but I'm not saying this person's an idiot. I'm saying that there's just simply a vulnerability there that I can expose or I can shore up. I can help them out by helping to move in the direction of closing that gap or for weaken, I'm looking to expose that gap. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.